Welcome to Fun Size Fiction. Treat your ears with tiny tales, written and read by Renee Canolti. That's me. And here's this week's story. The Lost Hour I spread the material out on the floor. I still think you should have brought that crimson fabric or the dusty pink. Even the bottle green would be classier than this. Wool is classic. Anna set up her sewing machine on my dining table. I like the cotton. It was lighter and cheaper. Five other girls wore polka dots to swing last week. I want to fit in. Anna's mobile phone rang. Her perky greeting morphed into a frantic conversation. I have to go. Logan's come off his scooter. Sounds like he'll need stitches. Anna grabbed her handbag. I've threaded the machine, so you should be right. She headed for the front door. Want to wait until the weekend so I can give you a hand? I'll figure it out. There are heaps of tutorials online, Anna waved. Send me a photo. She pulled the door shut behind her. There were pages of results for circle skirt instructions. I picked one at random and began working through the steps. Calculate my waist radius. I thought I'd finished with that pie rubbish in high school. Thank goodness they included the formula. I ran the tape measure around my waist. Inches? What's that in centimetres? Damn, US bloggers. I clicked through six other tutorials until I found someone who worked in metric. I measured and traced semicircles and a rectangle onto my folded fabric, then carefully cut along the chalk lines. Painstakingly, I pinned and then stitched the waistband. The edge was crooked, but that would be hidden inside the skirt. I used half as many pins along the sides. The bottom hem would need a gazillion pins. Oh, none. I pinched it together as I sewed. I had this. I pulled the skirt up over my shorts. It was a bit of a wriggle, but I got it on. Swishing in front of the full-length mirror, the hem looked fine. Nobody would notice the little folds. I eased the skirt off, then stitched on the waistband. It didn't quite meet at the other side. I cut the band off. Must have forgotten to allow for the button. I made a longer band and then attached it to the skirt. Shoot, I hadn't left a bit open on the side for the zipper. I unpicked the side, pinned the zipper into place, then stitched it in. Zippers have pleats, right? The automatic buttonhole stitch was fail-safe. After four attempts at threading, I hand-stitched the button on, and I was done. With ten minutes to spare. I put on a fresh black t-shirt, some red lippy, and the string of fake pearls I'd found at the op shop. Kicking off my shorts, I stepped into my new creation. I zipped it up and then spun in front of the mirror. The skirt twirled around and around and then down into a puddle on the floor. I put my shorts back on. That was an hour of my life I'd never get back. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this story, hit subscribe so you don't miss my next fun size fiction. You can find out more about me and my writing on my website, heysaidrenee.blogspot.com.